Hey everybody, this is Kevin Ma, and in this video we're going to use the Keyboard Pro 4, and we're going to team it up with GeForce's OBE software version 2.0. I'll show everybody how to set up, but first let's have a listen to some presets and see how it plays with Keyboard Pro 4. So let me show you how to set up. I'll show you some features with OBE and uh, we'll make sure that it's set up and that we can get the most out of its MPE capabilities. From Ableton Live or from within your DAW, you wanna make sure that you have MPE enabled. And from within the title bar of the plugin itself, we'll right click and make sure that we enable MPE. So the plugin we're working with today, the OBE, is an octophonic, or you can think of it as an eight voice synthesizer with independent controls per voice. Let's set it up for eight voices with our MPE channel rotation. So from within Ableton Live, let's make sure that we are using our last channel of nine. From the Keyboard Pro 4 editor, we also want to limit our MPE rotation channels to eight here. So I've set this to eight and I can save it to the first slot on my Keyboard Pro 4. For the next step, we're going to assign the slide or the CC74 portion of our MPE controller to interact with the eight channels that we've assigned. So from within the plugin or OBE's GUI, the next step or the final step will be to assign the slide, the CC74 per channel. And we're going to do this eight times once per voice. So it's important probably to not hit any keys on the keyboard just yet until we're set up. And I'll do this with you. I'm going to hit CC. I'm going to select the first SEM module, which is the lower left. And as I move to the next note, I'll make sure to use a different note each time, activating the slide. Until I get it knocked up. All right, so in this section, I want to uh, get closer and we'll look in to each individual module where we can take a look and assign things like our poly aftertouch as well as our global pitch bend. But I'll change to the default poly preset for now and we'll just test out to make sure that we have per note CC74 on our cutoffs across the eight voices. Also, I will point out the usage of grouping which is gonna group the controls amongst all the SEM modules, which in this case we don't want. Just making sure it's working. I will mention that you probably want to avoid using group because it's going to gang the controls together. So if you try to do slides, 
across multiple fingers or multiple notes, you're going to hear that fighting. So let's avoid group, but we're going to use it to program, and there are going to be instances where that uh, is going to be necessary. I'm going to zoom into the first SEM module to point out in the case of making assignments for pressure. So in the case of pressure, uh, you have an amount knob, and it's labeled after touch, but there's several different destinations that it can be set to. LFO rate, uh, modulation two and one, which are uh, located right below each oscillator. And filter uh, and amp as well. It also is bi-directional, so you can go negative and positive. So in this instance, just for a demo, let's see if we can get our aftertouch affecting the volume or the amp at a negative as, as a positive level. And this would make me use group because I would want this assignment to follow all eight voices and not just one voice. So I'm going to turn on group and pull down amp. We'll go to maximum and then we'll turn it off. <laughs> Let's take a look at this sound I'm working on here, which is a bit of a synth bass. Which I think I want to dial back the uh, vibrato or the pitch bend amount. Sounding good. Let's set up also some legato with some portamento so we can get some nice slides. Maybe a little faster than that. Also, CC74 is already assigned, and that's ready to go. I think this is sounding great, but even to kick it up, let's use all eight SEMs now, and I'll flip it into unison. And there's our bass sound. We'll use that for a little demo, and I'll see you guys on the next video.